Welcome students. I am Mrs. Tinku Bhattacharji and I shall be teaching you geography. Our topic of discussion today is our changing earth. In this chapter, we shall be exploring the forces that are responsible for the dynamic nature of a earth and we shall be identifying the forces that are responsible for modeling and remodeling the surface of the earth. Let's take a look on our planet earth from the space. When we look at our earth from the space, it looks like a calm and peaceful planet. Now let's zoom towards the surface of the earth. A closer observation provides a totally different picture from the commotion and the business in the city roads to the ever-changing weather phenomenon, the day and night cycle, cycle of seasons, to drastic changes in some part of the earth due to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. So many changes take place on the surface of the earth. In the natural environment, through long geological periods, Mountains are rising, plateaus are rising, rivers are flowing from highland to lowland and creating plains. The plains are being sculpted and they are being leveled with the passage of time. In the dry areas, the wind is sculpting the face of the earth. Along the shoreline, the sea waves are striking against the shore and creating different landforms. So what we see is that there is some changes on the surface of the earth always. Now let's take a further look below the crust. A deeper observation below the crust provides us the picture that even the layers below the crust are not totally static. There is some movement continuously. Now to understand why these movements are taking place, we need to know why or what forces are responsible for leading to these movements on the crust of the earth from the interior and from the exterior. So what we saw is that the earth behaves like a dynamic mobile object which is continuously changing. The evolution and variations on the surface of the earth are a product of earth movements. The earth movements are a result of two basic forces that act on the surface of the earth simultaneously and they are the ones that model and remodel the surface of the earth. Now, when we are talking about this exterior forces and interior forces, we first need to know what are they termed as. The word genic means origin. So, based on the origin of the forces, we can term them as origin means genic, exo means exterior and endo means interior or internal forces. So we have exogenic forces acting from the exterior and endogenic forces that are acting from the interior of the crust. First of all, we will discuss about the endogenic forces or the internal forces of the earth. So what are endogenic forces? Endogenic forces are those forces which act on the surface of the earth from the interior resulting in tectonic movements that model and remodel the surface of the earth. The surface of the earth as we see today is actually a product of long geological process over millions and millions of years. What we see today in some place, suppose there is a mountain somewhere. Millions of years ago that area may have been a plain. 
Now, there are this phasic forces, the endogenic forces that are resulting in the basic landforms on the earth's surface. The earth behaves like a mobile and dynamic object. Millions of years of geological change has resulted in the face of the earth as we see today. Even now, as I am teaching you this chapter, some changes are taking place somewhere in some part of the earth, including our surrounding. These changes that are occurring on the surface of the earth, the modification, the modeling and remodeling of the earth's surface are product of earth movements. Presently, we shall be concentrating on the study of internal forces, that is endogenic forces. In the next lesson, we will know why or how this endogenic forces act. For that, we will need to grasp some knowledge of geology and we shall be doing it in the next lesson. So, until today, we have learnt about exogenic forces and endogenic forces and the dynamic nature of the earth. Thank you students.